Hey guys, what's up? I'm coming today with another video, and today is day 46. How exciting! Day 46 has finally come, and I'm so excited to have made it this far. I want to do a little bit of talking today to you guys because I've been doing just pretty much my exercises every single other day. But I want to kind of catch you guys up on everything that's been going on. I've been talking about it a little bit throughout the last couple of videos and like how my diet has been the hardest part of this journey for me and really trying to stick to that diet changing my relationship with food and really 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 focusing on that i feel like i've i have the exercise down i've really been putting in the time to focus on my exercise getting in my 245 minute workout today and trying to get outside trying to do things a lot different reading my books drinking my water and i feel like the food has been the <laughs> biggest challenge that i've had so far still to this day it is the most challenging thing for me and i really 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 just like i'm challenging myself for the 75 days have to focus on really making food changes my priority and not just keeping it as making food at home i need to do more in that area and really 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 for the next 30 days focus on making it whole foods making it foods that are nourishing my body as well as you know filling me up focusing on protein focusing on macro and micro nutrition and really 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 clear my brain of eating processed food and not liking the taste of fruits and vegetables and trying new things so i'm going to make an actual effort to take video of my food throughout the day of breakfast lunch and dinner and if it's the same i'm still just going to take a video marker of that so that i can see exactly what i'm eating and really make that change for the next 30 days so that is going to be my new thing i'm really going to focus on my diet and making my diet a top priority and this way if i'm putting it on camera i'm not going to be eating processed dumplings or processed foods like that that i still make at home but it's so different than actually having fresh food that I'm making at home. Like, I still occasionally have some type of dumpling or something that's like a ready-made. And I'm realizing ready-made is technically still processed. So I want to make my food pretty much from scratch. And that is going to be not as big of a challenge as I feel like it's going to be. Because I do feed my kids every day and I cook for them every day but their food is so plain that I usually add sauces I add new stuff and I add more food to my plate than they eat and I really need to focus on getting in my vegetables and my fruits and really really focusing on them and you know my kids eat very healthy I don't <laughs> so I think my biggest goal is to really just eat what my kids eat and that is going to be such a challenge it's going to be such a challenge for me but I'm going to do it because I feel like it'll be life changing for me because I do my best to feed them the best. But I also want to be the example of eating the same thing as them and them not having to see, you know, me eating something different from them on top of it not being the best food for them. It's just been such a battle. That is a whole other story to talk about. But it's been such a battle with food because I feel like it's always been comfort. And while I have stuck to not eating out, not buying food outside of the house, it's still buying food that I can prepare at home. And so I feel like that's kind of a cheat a little bit when I'm really analyzing it. I'm like, because half of these meals are ready made, they are, you know, thrown in the pan, warm it up with all these sauces and stuff that I don't know what it is versus me actually cooking every single thing adding in the different sauces plus whatever I need to like sweeten it or make it spicy or whatever and I think that's going to be my new challenge for the next 30 days and I feel like once I get that under control and finding meals that I like to eat that are um, things that I freshly made and I'll try to share with you guys the ingredients of the meals that I am making I found a few that I feel like I can continuously do over and over 
and there are a couple things that I do cook most of the stuff and then some of the stuff like fajitas and stuff the seasoning comes in a package and then I eat with like a tortilla or something like that so I have found a few meals that I'm going to try to rotate throughout the next four weeks to try to really work on eating foods that I am making majority of and not just like packaged foods. Like I don't eat TV donuts or anything, but like I said, I'll have like steamed dumplings. I'll have um, even like regular <laughs> dumplings that come. I'll have a uh, different type of P.F. Chang meals that are like pre-made and you just put it in the pot and like cook it like that. And I feel like even though it is stuff I'm cooking at home, it's technically not stuff I'm cooking <laughs> at home because it's already processed. So even my idea of the change of how the food is made is going to be different. So if I do want to eat broccoli and beef and broccoli, then I have to make the beef, I have to make the broccoli, I have to make the sauce and add all of that stuff so I can see every ingredient that's going into it. And if I have to eat more plain stuff that's just like just baked chicken or something like that, then I'll just have to do it that way versus having ready-made meals because I feel like that's still a cheat. Like now that I'm analyzing everything and I've been focusing more on my food since everything else has become such a habit, I really want to get in the habit of cooking those meals. And it's really crazy because I do cook meals for my children but they're so plain and I'm so used to process that I have to add extra to everything like I have to have extra stuff but I really want to start incorporating those fruits and stuff in the morning and even having like smoothies to kind of fill me out throughout the day to make it more so that I'm getting in all of the fruits and vegetables that I need to really 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 focus on my fruit and vegetable intake because I feel like this is where I'm having the biggest struggle and so I'm really really working on the food part of this journey and I feel like if you guys have been watching me for a while you know food has been my biggest biggest struggle all these years <laughs> food has been the number one struggle for me and that's why I used to do fad diets because it was easy for me to commit to 10 days of a certain food so that I can lose weight so that I can eat whatever I want after that but I don't want to go back to that and I think 30 days of that very strict mindset of like this is what you're going to eat will really 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 help me out and knowing that food is great of course to celebrate and everything but it's really only here to nourish my body has changed a lot in me and I need to just eat things that nourish my body and not just things because ooh, like it tastes so good or I miss this food or you know um, things that I can't create myself so if I can't make the steamed dumpling myself I can't eat it if I can't make those certain foods then I can't eat it and when it comes to even like sauces and things I'm going to stick to the very base of the sauce so it'll be soy sauce and if I have to add flour or honey or whatever to change it up then that's the way I'll do it with seasoning versus like just pouring a sauce on top of things and even when it comes to maybe salads I don't know if I'm going to incorporate that because I still have a phobia a little bit about salads so if I do incorporate some type of cooked salad or something like that then I'll have to make the bases for those things as well like if I want to add olive oil things like that so I'm kind of creating that list as well I'm trying to put it on a document so that this is exactly what I'm buying every single week and make my meals and kind of change it up but I'm really 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 trying to dedicate myself to making sure that I am eating much better for the next 30 days because those first two weeks I was doing so well so that up and down week really really deterred me the second two weeks that I was uh, changing my activity I stopped focusing so much on diet and really focused on my activity the last couple weeks I've been focusing on activity movement drinking um, getting my triggers and everything together reading the books and stuff and now I feel like I'm finally at the part of my journey where I'm ready to focus solely on food and I didn't have a real big diet that I've made for the 75 hard and it's the first time I'm doing this challenge but I should have stuck to like a strict 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 diet that wasn't just not eating out and um, now that I still have 30 days left I'm really going to focus on that part of it and really making an effort to make my food at home from scratch and make it something that's edible for me maybe I'll fail a couple times and that's okay 
but I'm just trying to overall elevate my life for the 75 days and really challenge myself. So once this is over, who knows what I will feel like at the end, but I feel like I'm doing so well on so many other areas of this challenge that I really, really, really also want to make a positive change when it comes to food because that has been my hardest thing. Food has been such a comfort for me and I'm trying to break that comfort and understand that I don't need anything outside of myself to be at peace. And so I really need to work on my relationship with food. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys. You got this, I got this. We got this, we can do it. We can do hard things. We really can, we can do anything. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.